Now, virtual reality technology developed for the gaming industry is being used by one of our region's fire services to train its investigators. Leicestershire Fire and Rescue Service has created a new program involving state-of-the-art headsets to take officers into a virtual world. Well, it's thought to be the first of its kind in the UK, and if it's rolled out nationally, it could save more than a million pounds. Amy Harris reports. The aftermath of a factory fire, but though it looks real, this is a virtual world entered via a headset. Oh, yeah. This experience has been developed by Leicestershire Fire Service to train investigators like Paul McNally. He's testing it out today for the first time, searching the rubble to discover how the fire started. It was very real, it was better than I thought it would be. And being able to see the evidence and, and gather it uh, for, for later testing was, I thought was really invaluable. His service is the national lead on virtual technology after the success of this road safety project, which uses 360 degree video to show what it's like to be in an accident. But with added interactivity, this latest experience takes it to another level, quite literally, as I discover when I give it a go. Oh, no. Do you want to step out the window? <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> Let me take this off. It is incredible. <laughs> it was so realistic, and I was literally standing here, and I did not want to step out because beneath me was a sheer drop. Incredible. <laughs> bit shaky. <laughs> It's going to benefit the fire service because we'll be delivering better training, higher quality training, uh, giving our kind of fire investigators officers possibly the best training in the country. Alex is one of the team who created it. He believes it's the future of training and hopes to roll out this experience and many more across the country, which could save the fire service more than a million pounds over two years. The training works so well like this because it's photorealistic and because you can interact with objects in the scene. 360 video is very good for a passive, uh, immersive experience, but people always want to go that next step further. It's certainly a compelling experience the first time you try it, and with virtual reality getting increasingly realistic, those here believe it can and should play a major role in the training of our emergency services. Amy Harris, BBC East Midlands today, in a virtual reality world. Absolutely brilliant. I loved Amy's job. That's amazing, that, wasn't it?